Hello and welcome to Newsworthy History. I am your host, Mike Newsworthy, and this is my co-host, Barry Bulb. Hi everyone, I'm Barry the Bulb, and today Mike and I are going to tell you about a very interesting part of the history of the United States that happened right after the Civil War. Isn't that right, Mike? The American Civil War was a dark period in the nation's history. When it ended in the spring of 1865, with the surrender of Robert E. Lee and the Confederate Army to Ulysses S. Grant at the Appomattox Courthouse, the North celebrated its victory. The South, however, faced the difficult process of Reconstruction. Many people in the South, and some in the North, decided to look west into the new territories that were being explored to build new lives for their families. This was the beginning of the westward expansion. As the pioneers and settlers began to move out into the western territories, it quickly became clear that there was more territory to settle than there was people to settle it. The reunified United States government began to encourage settlers to make the trip into the western territories with promises of free land and fortune to be made. Americans began to believe that it was their right to have these lands. This belief came to be known as Manifest Destiny. Hmm, Manifest Destiny. What exactly does that mean, Mike? Well, Barry, Manifest Destiny was the idea that Americans had been chosen by God or fate to settle the lands in the West. But not everyone in the East was so easily convinced to risk everything and move their families West. To promote the expansion process, artists were commissioned or hired to create paintings and artwork that would glorify the pioneer spirit and westward expansion. Most of these paintings show glorious landscapes and lush green pasture with smiling pioneers traveling to reach this new paradise in the west. One painting in particular stands as a shining example of this PR campaign. So in the late 1800s, painting and artwork were kind of like commercials are today trying to change people's minds about certain things. Hmm, interesting. Wow, Barry, that's a really good way to think of it. Well, this painting was created by the artist John Gast, and it is titled American Progress. Gast was hired to create the painting in 1872 by the publisher of a series of travel guides. Very few of the pioneers that read these travel guides ever saw the original watercolor created by Gast, but were very familiar with the reproduction that could be found on the cover of the guide. As we begin to examine the painting, I'm sure you begin noticing many pioneer elements and themes. Most likely your eyes are drawn to the female figure in the center of the painting. How would you describe her appearance? As you look closer, you will notice that she is holding something in her hand. In her right hand, she is holding a book. Upon closer inspection, we see that the book is titled School Book. That name might seem strange. However, education at the time was a highly prized thing. Education was what separated the pioneers from the Native Americans, or at least that's what the pioneers thought. In her left hand, she is holding what looks like wire. What is she doing with the wire? Is it connected to something? Interesting. On her head, she wears a star. Stars are prominent symbols of American power. There are 50 of them on our flag, after all. And were also used to represent the Manifest Destiny philosophy. As we move from the female figure to the east or right portion of the painting, we see some very familiar images. In the far east, the sun is rising over the horizon, revealing a modern city and shoreline. Ships can be seen entering a harbor. Where do you think those ships are coming from? 
What might they be carrying? Moving to the west, left, we see three railroad lines moving outward. The railroad was the first superhighway connect connecting the established east with the resource-rich west. The tracks behind the train are distinct and established, while the tracks in front of the trains fade into the west. What might that symbolize? Running along the tracks nearest the viewer is a series of telegraph poles. The wire in the female figure's hand leads the expansion of the telegraph. How did the telegraph benefit the western settlers? Moving further west beyond the railroads and the telegraph, we find the pioneers. These were the trailblazers and explorers who took the greatest risks but stood to gain the greatest rewards. The group of men nearest the viewer is different from those in the wagons in the distance. What are the men going in search of? How are they different? When you think about the people traveling in the wagons in the distance, what are they searching for? Further west are a group of Native Americans. It appears that they are fleeing from the settlers and pioneers. Why are they afraid? Look at the herd of buffalo being driven away. What was the relationship between the Native Americans and the buffalo? How did westward expansion change that relationship? Finally, off in the distance behind the mountain range, there are dark clouds and the landscape becomes less clear. What might the artist be communicating with this change in lighting and scenery? As we pull back and consider the painting as a whole, ask yourself these questions. First, if I was a pioneer, would this painting positively influence me to move westward? Also, was John Gass successful in communicating the glorious future of westward expansion? Well, Barry, that was an incredible piece of artwork that we just looked at during a truly amazing time in the history of the United States. You're right about that, Mike. I think that the artist Thomas Gass captured many themes and elements of the period in his work and inspired uh, pioneers to go out and explore the West. Barry, I couldn't have said it better myself. All right, well, we thank you for joining us for this broadcast. And until next time, when we once again explore newsworthy history. I'm Mike Newsworthy, and for my co-host Barry, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.